Welcome to this week's episode guys. Today we're going to be discussing creating depth on your property and how to increase daylight movement of mature whitetail bucks. So to start today we're going to talk about our location and where we're at and what our goals are for this area and how to create depth on your property. Especially on a smaller property like this, it's only 30 acres, creating depth is going to increase your daylight movement and it's going to make your property hunt bigger. So as you can see behind us here, this is a southwest facing slope, extremely canopied. This area gets little to any sunlight and as you can tell, very bare, it's completely open. There's no hardwood regeneration, there's no forbs or grasses growing in the spring and summer months. It's just a complete desert through here. It's a transition route, it's actually a really good transition route. A few bluffs meet, kind of pinched down to this bench here. We put a watering hole, it's right behind the camera. We got a stand location about 25 yards from where I'm standing over this watering hole. And this spot hunts great in October, early when there's a lot of foliage and it's thick, this area does well. As soon as November comes around or we get that first frost, even if it's early October, this area gets bare fast and deer will pretty much vacate this whole area. So what our goal is this off season is to come in here in about a week and a half, we're gonna clear cut most of this hillside. We're gonna do major TSI through here. We're, just, we're not gonna do any hinge cutting. We're just gonna come through. We're gonna fell these trees. We're gonna fell them probably about three to four foot. So that hardwood regeneration, those new shoots coming off of it are at head height for a deer. And this will allow this whole area to get sunlight. We need to get sun to the forest floor. So during spring green up, we'll have new forbs, forage. There'll be grasses growing. This will be a great area for turkeys to nest, to find food, and it'll help whitetail. It'll create side cover, it'll create browse through here, and this area will be great by next season. So what I'm talking about when I'm saying creating depth on a farm is if you can see behind me, you can see all the way up this hill to the oak flat up there. And that oak flat is just a flat bench up there. Um, it does very well October, November, and then it kind of fizzles off. So we need to do a lot of work up there as well, but for this off season, we're gonna start on this bench and this hillside. This is a transition route that runs down to a creek and also a major food source that we just put in last off season. And it's, uh, it was a radish cereal rye plot. It, it did great for what it was. It was probably only a quarter of an acre. We have a lot of room to expand. So this season we're gonna get it closer to a half acre. And between having a half acre fall food source this watering hole creating depth here cover brows this area is going to be hot come next season and i'm really excited to see how these improvements change the way that whitetail will move on this property in daylight we're taking the natural travel route that they already use and we're just defining it with water cover um, mock scrapes and then food the destination food source down in the bottoms so what we'll do is we'll come through like I said, in about a week, we'll cut all this. Um, we'll selectively cut some of the really big hardwoods we might leave, but there's a lot of just, just junk hardwood trees through here. This property, we're not farming for wood. This is a strictly whitetail turkey hunting farm. It's recreational only. And this is providing nothing for any whitetail, turkey, any wildlife in general. It's just bare hardwoods all the way through here. By cutting this, we're gonna get food down to the forest floor. We're gonna create more browse, we're gonna create more cover. Once we get done cutting this, we'll come back through in April during turkey season and we'll do a follow-up video. We'll show you guys the new regeneration through here, all the new forbs, forage. Um, we'll show you all the stumps, how they sprout new shoots off of them, creating browse, especially this time of year when it's really bare. There's little to any food for whitetail. They rely on browse. 60% of their diet is browse, and unfortunately there's not a lot of browse in this area. All the food is way up high. It's of no use to any critters right now, and we need to change that. So top priority is creating depth on this, and also this area being only a half acre on this hillside is gonna feel more like five acres because of how thick and dense it's gonna be. And it's gonna make the deer have to travel through here a lot slower they won't be able to just blow right through here, which is gonna slow them down, keep them on our property longer. And when you have 30 acres, you wanna create depth because you wanna keep them on your property as long as you can in daylight. 
So one, they're going to have the cover. They're going to want to move here in daylight. They're going to want to bed in these areas. Two, it's going to create browse for them. So they'll have food and forage. And then it's going to keep them off the neighboring properties that much longer. And hopefully by the time we get done with all this, they'll we'll create a whole motion on my farm with a little daylight. And then they'll disperse off into the ag fields and neighboring properties at nighttime. We currently did this in one other location on the farm. And we're tying this piece into that. And that spot we did that already. It's probably doubled in daylight movement. And we've had way larger bucks this season than we did last season. And we actually kept them around for a lot longer period of time. About two and a half months they stuck around on this farm before it just got so bare and there was no food source left for them. By clear cutting this, creating depth, cover, and forage, this is going to increase the daylight movement of mature bucks and it's going to slow their movement down and it's going to be able to allow me to create better stand location spots. They'll be hitting our food source, our destination food sources, but they'll also be browsing this in daylight and it'll give us multiple stand locations. That's another thing on small properties is you need to space yourself out. Even if you have a couple stands in each area, by spreading out, you're not leaving a bunch of scent in one spot. Once you spook out a spot, that's pretty much it for you for the season. That's the hard part about hunting a small property is you don't have a lot of room for mistakes. So we wanna thicken this property up. We wanna create better movement and daylight. And then we're gonna to continue to use all of our good access that we did this year, but now with all the new growth and by using the new regeneration as cover as well when a buck is up on this hillside here if he wants to bed down up there he can see all the way down this whole hillside into our food source he has no reason to go in there until night especially during the rut when you want him to be sent checking does he's going to know if a doe's in there or not when we come through here and we cut this by next spring this whole area will thicken up and create so much cover and depth on the property that's going to force that buck to actually have to come down the hill and check these areas. He won't be able to just scan it from top to bottom, which is going to improve our stand locations and it's going to increase our chances of getting to put an arrow through one of these bucks. So we're really excited about getting this project started. I hope this makes sense to you guys and we're going to be talking about this in April. We're going to be coming back probably in September and then next deer season We'll do another update on this. I want to show you how creating depth on your property will increase the daylight movement and mature bucks, and it'll increase your odds of getting to put an arrow through one of them. Thanks, guys, for tuning in on this week's episode. We'll be back next Friday.